Hello and welcome back to ProDesign channel. If you want to take your 3D renders to the next level, adding volumetric effects can create stunningly realistic environments. Today, I'll show you how to create a breathtaking volumetric environment using V-Ray for SketchUp. Let's get started. First, we need a scene to work with. I've prepared a simple farmhouse scene. I got all the components I used in this scene from 3D Warehouse and Chaos Cosmos browser. You can use any scene you like, but for this tutorial, a scene with some depth and architecture elements works best. To create realistic volumetric effects, we need to start with proper lighting. Let's add a V-Ray sun and sky to our scene. and we are good to go. This will provide a natural light source and help us achieve a more realistic look. Next, we'll add the volumetric environment. In the V-Ray Asset Editor, go to the settings, then come to the parameters under the volumetric environment. Make sure the type is set at area perspective. The sun as sunlight, then your visibility range set it to 3000 then your atmospheric height set it to 10000 this effect simulates the scattering of light as it passes through the atmosphere creating a volumetric effect to enhance the volumetric effect let's add some additional light sources place them strategically in your scene to highlight certain areas and create dramatic light beams Firstly, let's see what we have without the default setting on. Okay guys, we have a very beautiful scene here with lights within our building which is really nice. So this is what we have without the fog effect. Now we'll go back and turn our fog effect on to see what we have. If we look at the scene very well, we see that the fog is already taking effect. We want to go even further to use texture to make it look more realistic. Create a rectangle. I've got some images that I've downloaded from seekpng.com. So just search seekpng.com and you get fog images. You need a PNG image to achieve this. Want to come to our file, go to import and go to your file to pick the fog PNGs that you've downloaded. So let me make this group and rotate 90 degrees. Let's make it a little bit curvy so that it mimics the curved nature of the environment itself. something like this then to this height so guys we just want to project our image onto 
this curved background that's what we want to do and that's the reason why we are going through all this so make sure you double click on this right click texture then set the image as projected this helps you to be able to project just what you have here directly on this curved surface okay let's move this apart and now we have our projected image here we want to use this as our background let's check what we have let's try and render to see what we have we can see the effect of our png image so this is cool and you can use this to mimic a foggy effect or to enhance fog environment effect in your scene let's still bring one more we want to scale that And this time around, we want to add another kind of fog. So we just come to fire. Then let's come again and repeat the process like we did for the previous one. Let's scale to make sure it covers the curved background. Then we want to project this. Set this from texture to projected and we want to pick this and project. the reason why we've done this is to bring different kind of foggy effects just place it at different intervals in front of each other so that it creates depth to our image now that we have this let's check how our image looks you can see it forms even more fog effects in our scene so you can add more and more to make your scene look more realistic and once we are done with this let's now start to add our vegetations and the likes to create even more depth i've downloaded some vegetations and some other components from chaos cosmos browser you can also go download whatever you want now we can see what is happening here the clouds and all it's really nice with this subtle light coming from the sun rays this looks really cool and you can see this the effects around here so let's stop this and let me turn on my vegetations from the tags vegetation all right now let's preview what we have here and guys we can see the vegetations that we had at the extreme end they appear less visible than the ones we placed in between the two backgrounds this one's here and exactly what we are trying to achieve we can see our fog here looking really great and nice so with our settings in place it's time to render the scene 
depending on your computer's power. This might take some time. Once the render is complete, we can make some post-processing adjustments in V-Ray's frame buffer. Enhance the contrast, adjust the exposure, and add some color grading to perfect the look. And there you have it, a stunning, realistic, volumetric environment created with V-Ray for SketchUp. I hope this tutorial helps you add that extra layer of realism to your project. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest tutorials. Happy rendering!